Stop the violence. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! All lives matter! All lives matter! Do not violence! Do not violence! Man up! Man up! Save our community! Save our community! Save our sons! Save our sons! Save our daughters! Save our daughters! The best solution to violence is love. In order for you to have love, you have to have empathy for someone else who cares about the humanity and another person. Once you see the humanity in another person, it's hard, it becomes increasingly more difficult, if not impossible, to inflict harm on another human being. So, love is all we need. Man, we're a job off. Man up! Man up! Guns down! Don't shoot! They want to go up! When you have more jobs, you have less violence. If people have a hope that they can be, that they can create their own jobs, I think, I think you're just gonna, you're gonna create this culture of entrepreneurship. You're gonna create this culture of we can do it. We can do it with uh, the rest of our communities. You see how powerful we are, how powerful black people are when we get together in groups. So if we get together in groups where we're showing people that you can be entrepreneurial and you can make your own money, I think that's going to help South Bounds. You can show kids that they can come and they can do, um, they can sell their own lip gloss, they can sell their own wellness products. So they, can, they can be a yoga teacher or they can run African dance classes or something like that. Because there are people here who are so powerful and so talented and need to know that they can sell their talent. My name is Jasani. I'm 15 years old and I think um, what we should do to stop the violence is have more counseling for people who go through things in our community and um, like try to help them out because you never know what people go through at home. The most important thing we need to do is be engaged and involved in the community and take ownership because we really believe that self-determination is really the only way that we're going to find our way out of these challenges and issues that we're facing. So I was devastated. Like. It broke me like so much and nobody should lose a son, a daughter, a sibling, a grandson, nothing because don't nobody want to have that feeling like nobody, it's not a good feeling. I, I could tell you that right now, like losing a sibling, it's not a good feeling. Working with the youth, you have to model what you are asking them to do. You can't say, yo, uh, you need to be doing this, but you're not doing that. Stop the violence. Fix fifth, sixth, seventh grade before they get to eighth, ninth, and tenth grade when it's too late and they already got the ratchet or they already know where the ratchet is at. You feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I think intervention, stop it at a young age. Yeah, the battery. I have a responsibility to pass things on to these generations as far as things that they're going to be experiencing and the dissonance that they're going to be facing as they go through life, I feel it's my job to give them the game, give them some healthy alternatives, let them know this is what it is, nothing new under the sun, do it this way, you're going to get a lot further. Do it this way, you're going to go like this, plain and simple. So I think that's our job and we just got to be consistent, 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 thorough, and we fighting to change the culture, change the narrative. So we got to understand what that fight is, be patient. Be loving, be caring, be understanding. We're gonna have good days, we're gonna have bad days, but at the end of the day, we know what this is for. It's bigger than all of us. The solution is for us to support one another. Um, you see each other's kids in the street, you know that them, even if they're not your kids, correct them. Um, you know, you have little girls and little boys, they talk reckless, stop them, tell them that's not how you speak. Do you talk like that in front of your parents? Kind of redirect them. Everybody has a degree of knowledge that we can teach and share with young people. And I think that far as those that are knowledgeable, those that got a lot of street credibility, those that are retired school teachers, those that are very knowledge and strong in the knowledge itself. We gotta put all these elders together and we gotta get some of these community centers, some of these charter schools, and start having rites of passage training. What do I mean by that? We gotta have manhood training. We gotta have womanhood training. So the solution to all the violence, honestly, is mentorship and just education. I think the solution to stop all the gun violence and crime that's going on in Albany is to first get the kids off the street. Sit down with our brother and find out what's really going on. 
before you throw your whole life away and she's out here on to the next. You know, and, and, and it's like we all got to be delegated and, and troops with different missions to make sure that that whole piece comes together. You know what I mean? To, to solve this problem that we're dealing with. We have to make sure that they have a space, safe space, where they can play, build, uh, learn about entrepreneurship, learn about uh, soft skills. We come together, you celebrate freedom, African American history, culture, and you show your neighbors some love. And we need action. Come out, get involved, come down to events, check out the cultural center. If you can do something with kids, be a part of it. And that's what solves the violence problem, understanding the love that's present around them. We need more of the African American culture, minority culture, to come together in unity and work with our younger generation because they are our future leaders. And without them, the question is, what do we have left? We're doing a community cleanup with a collaboration of organizations, game type management, leading. We have um, All Street Global, Snug, Bridge the Gap, Pulse. We have City of Albany. We have, who else we have? A bunch of kids and um, community leaders, and we're going to clean up our streets together in unity. Welcome back to Community Solutions. Today, we're interviewing uh, the man, uh, Kasir Rasul. Um, so yeah, uh, we're just going to be asking him some questions, um, what he, about the community, how he, um, how he and as a group, all of us can improve the community, like, and find solutions. 